Hello YouTube, it's William here with Gopher Knoppers Trains. It's a fairly nice spring day here in Madison. A little bit chilly. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a brief look at my most recent acquisitions. Um, this is the focus of our video for now, but uh, I just want to show you real quick. When I was at Hobby Stop last, I picked up two more freight cars. This is a Bessemer and Lake Erie boxcar, Atherin Blue Box kit with uh, some... KD metal couplers on it. And this one's super cool. This is an Illinois Railway Museum Route of the Red Rockets refrigerator or reefer car. Um, this is one of the Accurail kits. And um, I was actually there for a few years when um, they first sold these. But uh, the two that I bought were, I mean, well, I was probably 10 years old, so I didn't assemble them very well. And uh, there have been missing parts ever since. But anyways, this is what I really wanted to talk to you guys about, is uh, my most recent purchase. This is an American Flyer Royal Blue 462 Pacific, right, for the B&O, streamlined locomotive. But there's something special about this one that I'll show you in just a second. First of all, this one is the rare tender with the indented American Flyer lines lettering. Second of all, this is original paint. Um, these decals are yellowed and cracked with the original paint, so we can confirm these are original. This one's got link couplers, so it's a pretty sweet engine. Um, I did pay a pretty penny for it. It was 150 bucks, but I picked it up locally just yesterday. But the real reason I was so interested in this thing and the reason I dropped so much money on it is because if you look at the bottom, this is not an S-gauge locomotive. This is actually O-gauge, three-rail O-scale. So that's what these pickup shoes are for. So this will run on my Lionel layout. And uh, the reason I'm looking at flyer stuff is because um, the video I posted yesterday of the K5 Pacific and the all aboard layout stuff, that's actually mine. Um, I'm storing it with my friend Varun from Varuning Trains, which is why the video was filmed there. But anyways, um, this one needs a minor repair. It needs the valve gear adjusted. So let's do that. I don't have all of my tools nor my testing equipment here so I can't do this comprehensively but I did want to give you guys a look at it and show you what all is being done I just need a small flathead screwdriver it's actually my roommate's toolkit but he's not here for a couple days here we go this will work there's just something about these this thing is in such great shape I love it I'm going to loosen this up if I can. It's probably been many years since this was last adjusted. And this, according to all of the photos and stuff that I've seen, should actually be rotated directly across the center of the drive wheel. So I'm going to loosen this up and see if I can correct that. Sorry. I'd show you what's going on, but it's a bit difficult at uh, this angle. Oh, yeah. It was offset by a whole 90 degrees. See there, this, this box was set like this earlier. If we rotate it 90 degrees, bam, there we go. We've got the correct positioning back. I need to pick up that screw. I don't want it falling into the frame and accidentally being picked up by the motor's magnet. I'm just gonna slip that on there and start tightening her down by hand. There you have it, um, very minor repair. And this thing should be just about ready to go. Um, the seller said it was tested and working when I bought it, as well as with the functional E unit. So um, yeah, the next time I'm home, I'll be doing a full length video on this guy, showing it in action. Um, I'm obviously going to end up re-greasing the drive and also probably cleaning the brush plate and armature as this is pre-war. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's a super sweet engine and I know content is difficult to come by when I'm here in Madison. So I hope you guys enjoyed this real brief look at this super cool locomotive and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.